I have been so good. I deserve a little treat. So delicious. Hooray. No! I deserve better. There's no place like Tim's. 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 Hi there, how can I help you? What is going on guys? Will here, welcome to the video. Just on my morning walk, enjoying the beautiful weather. Now, most people think that donuts are my optimal fuel source, and for good reason, but my internal organs beg to differ. So with that said, I thought it'd be a hoot to try Dr. Oz's 48 hour weekend cleanse to revitalize myself from the inside out. So just like Tupac's death, it's just leaving me a little bit skeptical, but you can't knock it till you try it. Now, a detox isn't about how much weight you lose or what you look like on the outside. It's about healing your insides and flushing out all those crappy old toxins, but, that doesn't mean I'm still not curious how much weight am I gonna lose. So we're gonna do a little weigh-in and physique update right now. So as you guys just saw, I was 180.6 pounds and my spidey senses are telling me that it's gonna plummet by the end of this. So I'm gonna do a quick little physique update. So here is the front. Here is the side. So in order for a detox to truly work, you wanna maintain the three key organs, which are the liver, the kidney, and the colon. And this cleanse is all about eating certain detoxifying foods to help those systems run smoothly. So I will put on the screen right now, like the grocery list. It's a pretty extensive list and probably the healthiest cart I'll have of all time. But let's go get some groceries. All right, so back from the grocery run, here it all is all laid out. So it cost me just over $50, which is quite a lot. I do have some of this stuff already, so not very budget friendly. And the thing is, you gotta buy things like flaxseed oil. So this thing cost me $15, and I need two tablespoons all weekend, although I could probably think of an alternate use for that, which is besides the point. But anyway, I am starving. We're gonna hop into some breakfast, and that is quinoa and chopped prune. So I'll put the recipe on the screen right now. And since there's no eating after 7 p.m. on this diet, this is actually my second breakfast. So we have the quinoa here, which I stole from home. We're gonna let this simmer with some nutmeg, and some fresh grated ginger. Then I'm gonna stir in some chopped prunes and then some rice milk. Like how dare he ignore the benefits of well milk nut. And then last but not least, one tablespoon of flaxseed oil. Waking up to this breakfast is a quick way to get rid of some morning wood because visually it looks like something I'd be eating on Fear Factor. So the calories for this dish is 650 calories. So probably one of the most caloric dense bowls I've ever encountered in my life. Like take a look at this thing. It barely fills it up. Looks like there's like beetles crawling around in there. So the calories for the entire cleanse come to right around 1200 calories. When you compare it to other cleanses, it's not that bad because some other cleanses are like below 500 calories. So it's nice to see that Dr. Oz wants you to maintain some semblance of humanity, you know? So we have the quinoa, which is the main source of protein for this diet. We also have the prunes, which actually has something in it called sorbitol, which acts as a laxative. So I probably could have just topped this off with chipotle instead, you know? And then we have the, the ginger, the nutmeg, and the rice milk, which don't know why it's in there. He didn't really say that. It's very pasty, very adhesive-like. Hmm. Oh, that ginger just like hits you pretty sharp, but it's actually really good. It kind of reminds me of like oatmeal and raisins. It's, like, don't get me wrong, it's not great. It wouldn't be on my, my death row meal or anything, but it's not half bad. And you know, it's kind of concerning that like almost 50% or over 50% of the calories are right now. We have the whole day ahead of us, but maybe there's a method to the madness. I don't know. All right, so that is meal one in the books. Not too far to my comfort zone. Wasn't half bad. Definitely an acquired taste that I hope I can acquire by tomorrow's breakfast. So overall, off to a good start. I'll catch up with you guys pretty soon. Guess what, guys? It's not even lunchtime yet, and I'm already ready for a little pick-me-up. So my typical powder pick-me-up isn't available to me, unfortunately. Can't even have a beautiful coffee, so it looks like a juice will have to suffice. And I will say that after breakfast, those prunes, they work, like the McFlurry machine ain't broken. So it's gonna be one of those weekends where you gotta stay within an appropriate radius of the restroom. 
this cleanse, there are two different juice options, one that requires a juicer and one that doesn't. So for the purpose of this video, I picked up a cheaper one on Amazon that I'll link in the description for you guys to check it out if you wanna get one. So I've never actually juiced anything in my life, but I'm pretty good at getting things to extract fluids, so it shouldn't be too hard to figure out. So we'll see how it turns out. All right, so these are the ingredients that you are gonna to need to juice. So starting off with half a cup of pineapple, so it looks like we're cleansing more than just three organs. So pineapple has bromelain in it, which helps aid in digestion. We need a quarter inch of ginger. Just like any other day, I'm taking down two large cucumbers, half of a lemon, kale, which helps cleanse the kidneys, and then we have a big handful of mint. And I forgot to mention, so ginger helps stimulate bile flow in your gallbladder. No idea what that means, which is why I'm reading it on my phone. Uh, I mean, this just looks like, I'm like greening out looking at this thing, but I think it's gonna be pretty tasty. And take a look at this. So I've actually, I don't know, if you guys are a seasoned juicers, let me know. Does this have the same calories as if I was having them all as whole food? I have no idea, because look at all this extra stuff here. I feel like I'm definitely missing on some calories, but I don't know, I'm gonna shake this up and then we're gonna give it a little taste test. So I am already worried about shitting myself with the prunes, but now with this, I think I have no hope. And I think that if I finish this, I'm gonna grow like a fourth leg or something. It literally smells like just pure cucumber. Cause like the amount of juice that that cucumber extracted is just out of this world. But I mean, I shouldn't be surprised because the bigger the cucumber, the bigger the payload, right? You got a hint of lemon in there. It definitely tastes like there's a number of health benefits in here. I'm not getting too much ginger. It's pretty much just like lemon and cucumber, but it's pretty good. It's a little bit swampy. Katie, you wanna come try my green drink? Of course. My little secret potion. Adjust for the occasion. What do you think? Explore it with your tongue and get back to me. What do you think? I taste the ginger. You taste the ginger? It's very strong. You know what? I'm not getting any mint. And mint is like, in incredibly overpowering herb, I'm not getting it. Well, didn't it like that much come out? Yeah, that's true. That's a small load. But I am certainly enjoying it more than the breakfast. Kind of look like a cat's litter box. It's like, <laughs> it's like a quinoa prune thing, you know what I mean? Ah, so good. So just about 20 minutes after I had that juice, I felt extremely nauseous. So I decided to divert my mind from the COVID news and read some calming articles on WebMD. And what I found was that it's actually very, normal to feel sick after you have a big thing of juice, especially when you're new to it. Just cause it's like the juice is so concentrated, you're pretty much blitzing your system and shocking your body. So it's just temporary. So we're just gonna roll with it for the day and now we're gonna get a little workout in. All right guys, so today I actually have a break from the weights, but that does not mean I'm not doing anything. A lot of you guys know I like to do some form of activity every single day just to keep the body moving. So I thought it'd be fitting to try Dr. Oz's seven minute HIIT workout that he says is more effective than a one hour workout. So what I'm gathering is that he says shorter can be better, which I hope holds to be true since I just got edited as 5'11 in my last video. So I'm gonna turn on my Apple Watch for the HIIT workout and see any calories I can burn in seven minutes. Do it. Standard jumping jacks, and it's just basically just here. And you're gonna go for 60 seconds. My biggest concern right now is that nothing slips out. Oh, jeez. You go down to your toes, you touch the knees, touch the tummy, reach up. You squat, you kick left, you squat, you kick right. Get your dumbbells, chest up. Curl, press up. You're gonna put your hands like this, you're gonna tap. Then tap, and then tap, and then tap, and then tap, oh baby! <laughs> yeah, this one is hard. Take your hands like this, come up, crunch, and then, and then, and bend. Make sure you bend the knees and the outside. If you wanna get the legs apart, squat it down. You're gonna look over that shoulder, kick back with the right leg, all the way back, now kick back with the left leg, punch forward, boom, boom, boom. kick back with the left leg. All right guys, so that is gonna be the seven minute workout, it started off pretty easy, but then as it kind of progressed, it got a lot harder. There's some movements that I actually really enjoyed. So it's probably just as hard as my like normal Kegel exercises. So it wasn't too intense, definitely not enough to replace a one hour workout in my opinion. But now I am starving, we're gonna go make a smoothie. So I forgot to mention very quickly how many calories I burned. So it says I burned 76 calories, eight minutes and six seconds, pretty good. Saying that I am starving is an understatement. So luckily I'm making a fruit smoothie, famous for their satiety. 
So what you are gonna need is half a cup of almond milk or hemp milk, whichever one you prefer. It has to be plain and unsweetened. Then it says one tablespoon of ground flaxseed or chia seeds. So I have some chia seeds. And you're gonna need quarter of a banana, quarter cup of blueberries, and some ice. You know how badly I want to pump this with like Smoothie Viagra, AKA Xanthan gum? Like, come on. Like, this is like a, a damn practical joke. All right, so let's get into this smoothie here that looks like an anabolic ice cream before it hit puberty. So this was actually Dr. Oz's favorite meal meal of the cleanse. And he said he didn't just notice the physical effects of the cleanse, but also a spiritual aspect to it. And he said once he finished it, uh, he ended with some sort of peace. I don't know, who knows what's gonna happen tonight, but he also recommends to do this cleanse four times per year, which I think is quite overkill. It's pretty drastic. In my opinion, if you kind of like fall off the wagon with your diet just a little bit, you don't have to like drop your calories to like what I'm doing right now, like 1200, you know, just take a look at your diet, fix some things and just stay at the same calories and just eat healthy. You don't have to like do these crazy things, maybe like one to two times per year, in my opinion, but I mean, he's a doctor, I'm not. Yeah, no, I'm not making this one again. No. Somehow, the banana is just not here. It's just like not within this drink. I don't even know how that's possible since there's pretty much nothing in here. I literally only taste ice. So the current time right now is 4.57. So I have to get my last meal in before 7 p.m. So I'm just gonna slam this right now and then head back to my house and start cooking my dinner. Okay guys, so current time is now 5.36. We have just under an hour and a half to cook this and eat this because we can't be eating after 7 p.m. So we're making this massive uh, like vegetable soup thing. So I'm just so excited to actually have some sort of like substance in my mouth. This has all just been fluids all day and I feel disgusting. I feel dizzy, I feel weak. I actually said at around like 3.30 I felt drunk. That's just kind of like how I'm feeling. I think I'm just because I'm like going to the washroom so much, I'm just losing so much like fluids, but I'm still drinking a lot. Don't know what's going on, but in this soup, there is more things going on than a Walmart on Black Friday. So there is so many damn vegetables. We've got some paprika, caraway seeds, just kind of rough chop it, put it into the pan and simmer it with some water. And uh, this is five servings. So this will be my dinner tonight and tomorrow. <laughs> I feel like a medieval peasant, yo, with this stew here in front of me. So the current time is now 6.38, so I have 22 minutes to slam one bowl. Shouldn't be a problem. And this soup is very cabbage forward. So cabbage is very good at detoxifying the kidney and the liver. You also got some shiitake mushrooms in there to boost some liver enzymes. Oh, the aroma in here. I love me a good rich broth. A broth tells a story, just like a filled donut. At this point, whatever he had for dinner on this cleanse, I'm pretty sure I'd love it because I think anyone who has this is just like excited to have, you know, some sort of like a, a chewing motion in their day. What I would do to be able to run a nice little saltine cracker through here, but this weekend it looks like I'm the only cracker pairing with this soup. Oh, you have no idea the feeling I just experienced in my brain right now. It was kind of just like a, a vibration sensation. Oh. oh. Oh, I almost burned my mouth off. I just can't even contain myself in front of the food. Breakfast was 650 calories and then everything else all day, even including this, the calories are so low. So I don't really know if there's a reasoning to having more calories earlier on and then kind of tapering it off as you go. But overall, this is certainly the most enjoyable thing I've had all day. I was very happy to see a soup because it's been a rough week and my throat needed to cleanse. So, you know, would I make this again? Hell yeah, just add some chicken and some noodles. It's a very flavorful bra. All right, well, I feel like I'm experiencing some sort of identity crisis because I had only one bowl of the soup and I'm full and there's still all that left. I thought I was gonna polish the whole entire thing easily in like a couple of minutes, even though I knew I was not allowed to. But yeah, that's, uh, that's all the food for the day. So after dinner, I ended up going to Whole Foods to get some dandelion root tea, which you're supposed to have both nights before bed. And it's actually very, very good. 
So this is actually a diuretic and helps get rid of bloating. It's also an excellent way for your liver to excrete toxins from the body. So overall today was a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. Like I found fasting easier than this. Like after the juice I had, it just went downhill from there. It was just nauseous. Just did not feel good at all. Feeling a bit better now after the soup, but hopefully tomorrow's a bit better and I'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning guys, day number two. Not feeling too hot, feel a little bit like lightheaded, dizzy, and just a lot more tired this morning waking up. Uh, as far as anything spiritual to report, like Dr. Ross said, I got nothing to report. I mean, I was pretty much up all night peeing. I think it was from the dandelion root tea. So not the best sleep, I would say. So I'm gonna go and make some breakfast now, the quinoa with the prunes. So I'm gonna set up a tarp on the floor so I don't shit myself everywhere. And then we're gonna head to my house for a workout, which should be interesting because leg day and the cleanse mix as well as probably like a, a family gathering in an open bar, you know? So we're gonna get cooking and then get lifting. So just finished up my two main compound movements for the day, which was the overhead press for the shoulders. And I was supposed to do the squat for my legs, but then when I was warming up, I had the weight on my back. And you know, it would have been an ass to the grass squat, but it would have been another one of those embarrassing times where I just couldn't get it up. So I decided to switch it up and do split squats today. I also just uh, tapered the volume back from three sets down to two, because I have no energy right now. Feel very, very lightheaded. Dropped the weight about like five pounds per exercise as well. And I'm starting to feel super hungry. Like this morning when I woke up, I wasn't hungry at all. Probably due to the fact that I'm never hungry in the mornings anyway. But now that I'm exerting myself, it's starting to catch up with me. So just gonna finish up my accessory work and then go make some juice. All right guys, so just wrapped up the workout and it did not go that well, but now it's time to make the juice. The juice that we are gonna be making is the second juice option that does not require the juicer. Uh, so the reason why I'm choosing this one is for two reasons. One being is that I don't wanna feel sick like I did yesterday. And two is because I got some complaints last night and you know, I wanna up the pineapples. What? What do you mean? What? What, what complaints? Um, so what I want to do, yeah, I got some complaints last night, so I want to up the pineapple dosage. So I'm going to go in with, I think it's a one cup of pomegranate juice. I'll put the recipe on the screen right now. Three quarters of a cup of pineapple juice, unsweetened. One full lemon, shake it all up. You don't have to use this if you don't want to. I'm just, I'm bougie that way. And then you want to dilute it with a little bit of water. Time for the second juice taste test. It just smells like I'm on an island. Oh yeah, that is good. You can taste the pineapple. I can taste it flavoring my innards right now. If only I could add some of this. This is like the perfect combo to this. It'd be deadly. It tastes like juice and then an hour later you can't walk, you know? That's what I'm looking for. 10 out of 10, the best thing of the cleanse so far. Okay, so I'm currently just working on my lunch right now, which is the smoothie. So I decided to put it into a cup today and not drink it out of the blender. So it's just a little bit less depressing. So I am trying to find things to do right now because uh, I am bored and when I'm bored, I want to eat and I can't eat and that's a shame. So I usually go for a walk, but it is so damn cold. It must be the coldest day of the year right now. So I cannot do that. And luckily Gymshark sent me a package and they are usually very, very big and it takes me a long time to get through them. And you know, I like what they've done here because you know, it's a lot more minimal, a lot more loose fitting. It's not so much like, you know, tight spandex, like I'm trying to be a superhero going to go trick or treating or some shit like that. And yeah, it's just loose fitting, kind of oversized. It's like, do you lift? But then you go into the gym, then you bench 315. That's what it's all about. So, you know, this is like my favorite one that's coming. It looks sick. They have a bunch of other colors right here. You got like the gray. There's also a black. 
so yeah, trying everything on right now, um, which I've never really done in one go. Uh, dinner is in about an hour and a half. We've almost made it. It has been a lot harder today, feeling very lightheaded and very aggravated, which is why I'm staying in this room alone right now. But yeah, we're almost there. I have never really understood mukbangs until now. Like I feel like this dude is just like eating for me. So current time is now 5.49, so not even six o'clock. And I tried all my techniques to last longer, but just like always, it has let me down. So I'm gonna have my soup right now, which I made yesterday. And through my 26 years on this earth, I have learned a few things. But one thing in particular is that soup is a lot like a fine wine. The longer you let it sit, the better it tastes. So I have extremely, extremely high hopes for this. And I was right, much more profound tasting. I think I know what he means when he said he had a, when there was like spiritual aspects to this cleanse because I don't think I've ever been this like spiritually bonded with a soup before. And I have been to Soup Heaven, which is my grandma's chicken noodle soup, which is the best. And I'm comparing that to this right now. Like it tastes as good. Just a quick warning here. If you want to skip, I'd recommend skipping around like 10 seconds. So in terms of the bathroom situation today, as opposed to yesterday, it was um, interesting. It was definitely um, explosive, if you could say. It wasn't as like compact as what it was like mentioned in like the cleanse thing. It was just more like a just, you know. Oh, that was amazing. So that was gonna wrap up dinner. And that was the cleanse. So we have one more thing left of the day and that is a bath. So if you wanna get the most out of this cleanse, there's a few things that you need to do on top of the diet. And one is you wanna stay hydrated and drink tons of water. The second one is no eating after 7 p.m. The third one is a cup of dandelion root tea before bed. And then last but not least is an Epsom salt bath. So this is the one I have right here. So it is melatonin infused. So I have the door unlocked just in case I decide to, you know, so then Katie can come in and rescue me. So Epsom salt baths are great at sweating out your toxins. They also contain magnesium, which relaxes your muscles. So. I'm literally sweating out my toxins and then I'm, I'm bathing in them, which is kind of odd, but it is what it is. So I'm gonna enjoy this bath and I'll see you guys in the morning for my overall thoughts. I would say good morning, but I did not sleep too well last night. Uh, I was just super, super hungry, but I'm just thankful that this is all over. I've already had a coffee this morning. Uh, so, you know, what was the point of the cleanse, right? So stepped on the scale this morning, lost four pounds, went from 180.6 down to 176.6. In terms of how I look, I look pretty much the exact same, which is to be expected because you can't really do too much in two days. Although when I do these two day things, I usually look like I put on body fat with these extremely low calorie diets because you're just so damn depleted. In terms of how I feel, I don't really feel any different. Nothing really groundbreaking to report. I feel like detoxes are supposed to like give you like kind of like a reboot going forward. Um, in terms of like, I don't really know like the research or kind of like the basis behind a detox, but it kind of makes sense to me because you know, food is medicine, food is healthcare, having a proper diet and like nutrition is key to, you know, health, uh, feeling energized and just feeling really, really good. So you cannot take your nutrition for granted. Um, what this has really done for me is kind of just kind of set the tone going forward. I kind of just want to continue this kind of like healthy eating trend for the next couple of weeks, months, you know, years going forward, it's really kind of opened my eyes just seeing how certain foods can, you know, benefit like your kidney, your liver, and you know, my colon certainly got cleansed. But you know, all those things, it kind of just puts things into perspective on just how powerful food is for our bodies. So, you know, uh, I did it, happy I did it, would I do it again? No, hell no. But yeah, that is gonna wrap up this video, guys. If you guys enjoyed it, please give it a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I'll see you guys in the next one.